Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got different dimensions, Silence of the Lambs, and I'm going to do gradient tips and stamping. I started off with Niltix Formula 2, and here is different dimensions, the Silence of the Lambs, and this was a request by my friend Angela. She um, bought this polish last year also, and she asked me if I could do a Halloween Manny with it, since we both owned it. Um, I think it was one of those that came in the hollow hookup boxes. Uh, it's been so long, I can't remember. But this polish is super duper cute. And um, I love it. It's It's got like, it glows. I mean, it, you can see it right there. It's just glows. It's got like a yellow gold glow to it that's just crazy. Now, if you're unable to get this polish, find one that's similar if you like this um, manicure here that I'm doing. And just d use what you have. You don't have to hunt down this exact orange polish. It's it's crazy. So I'm going to top it with some Fast Dry Top Coat. I've done two coats of the color. And now I'm going to put some of the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls on there and get it to dry down so that I can do some stamping and some gradient. Now I'm going to apply some of my homemade liquid latex with glitter mix here and um, I've got it on my thumb, pointer, and pinky. This is mystery prototype number 16 from different dimensions. I don't even know where it came from. I think my friend Connie sent it to me. But I'm going to use this on my gradient tips on my thumb, my pointer, and my pinky. And once again, I have a feeling this polish is no longer available. It was probably one of those oopsie batches or, you know, something like that where the seller or the maker, you know, just, you know, sold sold out some of the, you know, leftovers or oopsies or whatever. So, um, just find something similar if you like this, you know, some kind of brownish, hollow something. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I'm just at a loss for words on it. I have things in my collection and I just have decided I'm just going to start breaking them out and using them. I had never used um, this mystery prototype polish before and I figured I needed to. So I have broke it out today. <clears throat> I thought it worked really well with this manicure. Um, just a beautiful, you know change on those tips and I could have done all of them like this and just been stoked with it um, and I am just going over anytime you do a gradient it's, whether it's glitters or, or creams you just go over it until you like how it looks and then you just you know stop and put a top coat on it <laughs> so I'm just trying to build up I want the glitter to be mostly prominent towards the tip but I want a little bit of that color to kind of go up into the nail, just a little bit. Just a smackerel, as Winnie the Pooh would say. So there we go. I think I'm, I think I'm good. I'm going to pull this latex off using my little tweezers. Snap. Fingers all over the place. It's just crazy. Here we go. Some more finger dancing here. How beautiful. So anyway, we got that part of it. Now, now I'm going to do the stamping. I'm going to use my Maniology Stamper, my Nicole Diary NS02, my Beauty Big Bang Scraper, and the Beauty Big Bang 04 Stamping Plate. So we're going to get right on with it. I'm going to use this, like, I guess it's like spider garland. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Um, I'm going to use this on my two accent nails, on my ring and my middle fingers today. Just kind of changing things up a little bit. So there we go. And I love this little image over that bright, crazy orange. Love it. Like I've said before, I'm running out of time for these Halloween manicures. So I'm trying to squeeze them all in. Who knows? I might do them after Halloween's over. You just never know with me. Dance to my own drum. So there we go. We got the stamping done and the gradient done. Now for some cleanup. We're going to use a piece of tape to get this excess off. And look, that's just coming up perfect. 
couldn't ask for it to be any better than that. I mean, right up to the cuticle and everything. Perfect. Love it. I'm going to be using the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat today over those two accent nails. No need to put it over the glitter, so I'm not going to I'm going to waste it on that. But I am going to cover those two. And then now I'm going to go in with the Fast and Hard from, from Vibrant Vinyls. And seal this one in. The glitter, the stamping, all of it. And I loved this one. This was just so cool and so much fun to wear. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it and I enjoyed wearing it so that's a good thing but I would love to hear what you think about this one leave me a comment down below let me know what you think here comes my swatch photo and as always I want to thank you for watching and until next time be good to yourself I'll talk to you soon bye